Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people who make it. I'm Josh, and today I'm back at local venue, The Space, for another live show review. This time, I'm dropping in to catch five hard rock and metal bands gathered together to help recent guests of the channel, Mastiff, give fans a sneak peek at their new album and celebrate the birthday of one of their members. Here's a hint, he's got a great first name. This is an amazing venue, and you can check out my review here when you're done watching this one. Speaking of reviews, if you'd like to be on the channel, uh, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or Room 6 social media link down in the description. That's also where you can find ways to support the channel, such as becoming a patron on my Patreon page, buying some merch on room6.shop, or just picking up one of my uh, CDs. It all goes to the local music scene or to the channel to help make better videos. Thanks. Another way to support the channel that only costs a few seconds of your time is subscribe. It's right down there, it really does make a difference, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks in advance. Now then, warm up your neck muscles and get your horns ready, cause it's time to rock! I'm expecting at least one mosh pit from this thing. Good thing the space has lots of... space. <laughs> Opening up the show was Silent Movie Cinema, a band that's been on my radar for a while, but I never got the chance to catch them before now. Boy, was I glad I did. This three-piece band warmed up the growing crowd and broke the seal on the night with infectious but heavy grooves that alternated with clean guitar tones and lyrical vocals to create a nice dynamic sound. With elements of math rock and some obvious jazz training for at least one of them somewhere in their past, this band was a great way to start the night. The next act was Room 6 alumni Pariah Was One, who are currently in the studio working hard on new music. Meanwhile, we were treated to some new stuff from their album Heaven Is A Chemical that saw an instant tripling of the crowd. From powerful and soaring vocals to intense and technical music that forced your head to start banging, this band left everything on the stage, and it was amazing. Where Pariah Was One left everything on the stage, the next act brought some of their own stuff to play with. Sci-fi rock band Shatter The Moon blended face paint, atmospheric tracks including one by Neil deGrasse Tyson, customized choreographed stage lighting, and high energy rock into an audible melange that had the crowd in the cybernetic palm of their hand. This three-piece band put on an awesome show and set the stage perfectly for the next act of the night. That would be Mastiff. Wait a minute. Nice. As I was saying, that would be Mastiff, the band that threw the shindig, and one of my recent interview guests. The video will be posting in the future, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. But first, a PSA about live event behavior. There were a few moments of drama throughout the night, including something I can only describe as a heavy metal Karen incident. No one was hurt, and this isn't about that. This is a suggestion that maybe, just maybe, you might want to show up for the whole show that you paid full price for, instead of just hanging out for one band and then bailing on the rest of the show so that everyone else has less audience. It's not a good look. That's a waste of your money, really. Okay, lecture over. On to Mastiff! Like I said in the intro, this show was a sneak peek at Mastiff's new album coming out in October called Embrace Brutality. I'll be reviewing it, and I hope that you'll check that one out too. This was also a birthday party for Mastiff band member Josh. With a sea of shirts in the crowd, I got one too! Mastiff began to melt faces with heavy and brutal metal that reminded everyone there just who they are and why they're local legends. Opening with the album's title song, the set was solid and even paid homage to some of their musical influences with covers of songs from Lamb of God, Amon Amarth, and Jump Around by House of Pain. They set an incredibly high bar for the final band of the night, which was local Megadeth tribute band and future Room 6 guests, Fatal Illusions. Though they were a tribute band, this act was tight and faithful to the original source material while putting their own unique spin on the songs. There was a decent crowd left after Mastiff set, and Fatal Illusions' technical playing and passion on stage kept them all entertained and rocking and was a nice way to finish things off. 
Overall, this night of metal and hard rock at the space was awesome. And if you haven't caught a live show there yet, you should. Tell them Josh from Room 6 sent you. Make sure you follow all the featured acts using their social media that I've put down in the description as well. See you at the next show! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll swing by the space next time you want to go see an awesome show. And I hope you'll check out all the accounts and follow them and everything down in the description for all the featured acts. In the meantime, like I said, you want to be on the show? Hit me up. If you want to support the channel? Click that Room 6 social media link down in the description for all the ways that you can help support. Or just subscribe. Remember to be amazing. Oh yeah, and if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here and subscribe. You know what to do. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.